game week three post results. It's been a crazy game week, you know, a complete roller coaster compared to last week's. For me, though, personally, it's been really rough. This is probably one of the worst amount of points I've ever got within, what, five, six years of playing Fantasy Premier League. You know, it's really disheartening. It really is frustrating, you know. Such a shame. Put that effort in. You look at the stats. You try and pick out key players. You try and do your research. You even listen to advice from others, and it just still doesn't work. You know, what else can you do? So 25 points, probably going to end up on 20, definitely going to be under 30, definitely. I've still got one player who needs to play, but I don't really expect much from him based off who they're facing, but based off my predictions so far for the most part of it, I've just been completely way off. Even with the ones to watch players, my watch list, I've just, just got it wrong nearly every time. Such a shame. So if you look at the actual team got Martinez who still needs to play but I don't really expect too much from him in terms of the defence just really really flat and boring and when you look at this the points it just really is bad Sice Samedi at the moment on one point most likely will end on two points each still not good would have been nice to see a clean sheet from them especially and maybe the odd goal from one of them but no Nothing at the moment. James, one point. Really poor. I think he got a yellow card, so he would have ended up on two. But nevertheless, it doesn't really matter. He still got a poor amount. And there's me saying, oh, we need Thiago Silva in because he'll be a good leader and he'll have the experience. And then look how he performed, making those mistakes. So that didn't help. I don't know what is going on, to be honest. As for midfield, though, De Bruyne, two points. Son, one point. But I had him as captain, so he doubles it, so he gets two points. Foden, two points. Costa, three points. Not too bad. Managed to get a clean sheet. That's better than nothing. Up front, Kane got five because he got an assist. That's better than nothing, I guess. Calvert-Loon got six. Once again, you know, not letting me down. Doing pretty well. So yeah, that's all I can really say. Werner, crap. Don't know if I'm going to keep him or not. I want to get rid of him. I'm sure a lot of people are going to. But I've got to focus on Son because if we look back at Son, he is injured. And I would rather have a bad performing player play than um, ignore another player who, who won't be playing, who won't get any points in at all, you know. Got to try and maximise the points as much as possible, regardless of how good or bad they are. So, yeah, I was unlucky, really unlucky at the moment. So, game week one, I had Son. He gets two points. I get rid of him quick. I bring in Bruno. Bruno ends up getting two points. Son ends up getting 25 points. And then, in the third game week, I swap him around again. This time, Bruno gets nine points when I don't have him. And Son ends up getting one point. And he's injured as well. I really am sick of my luck. And even my internal body for making these decisions. Such a pain. I mean, based off the defence, Samedu and Sice, to get two points, was it really worth doing the transfer, getting rid of Doherty? Because, you know, Doherty, he's got two points as well, I think. So it wasn't really much of an upgrade, was it, to be fair? You know, I said I was going to have Werner as captain. I was considering that. You know what? I would have been better off. That's how sad it is. Because Werner would have got me four points instead of two. This is what we're talking. Captaincy. This is the points we're getting. It's terrible. This is not how fantasy football should be. Really flat and dull. Still got Robertson on the bench, but he's not going to be coming on because all my players have played, so that's unfortunate, I guess. You know, it'd be like icing on top if Anguissa and Robertson end up getting a really high point. It'll just be my luck. So I think that basically sums it up. I think overall, statistically, based off what's happened, 
in summary of this game week, 681,000 wild cards have been played, at least. 20 million transfers have been made. Most captain player was De Bruyne. That didn't turn out well, but equally it didn't turn out well for me with Son. And the most transferred in was Calvert Lewin, which I'm not surprised about. I'm going to predict that Werner will be the most transferred out for game week four. And maybe Calvert Lewin might be still transferred in in terms of numbers, maybe. I still can't believe City losing to Leicester 5 2. But in a way, kind of did me a favour. <laughs> Even though I've still got two City players in my team, you know, think about it, De Bruyne. Because he was the most captained. Just imagine if he got another 13 points or something and that was doubled. People would be way ahead of me even more. So, kind of got lucky there. <laughs> if I want to call that a consolation prize. So I think that basically sums it up. Team didn't do so well. Didn't get really any many points. I know there'll be other people who probably got even worse. So it's, it's not fair. It's really disheartening. Definitely a shame. Do I think it will pick up next week? Do you know what? I'm at the point where pff, I don't know. Absolutely don't know. It's so unpredictable. Some people will say that's that's the good. That's a good thing. It's exciting. But I don't think it's fun constantly failing over and over again. And although this is game week three, and we can dust ourselves off, get back up, and say it'll be better next time. We've got to start. Well, not we. At least I have got to start thinking, don't be delusionally positive. Wake up. Am I screwed or do I stand a chance? Because as the game weeks progress, if I'm still struggling, if I'm still trying to find my way and I'm still making stupid decisions and still getting unlucky, the total point score is going to accumulate and I'm going to fall behind. And obviously it's a fact once you get to a certain point in fantasy football, there's no way of return. So, just got to assess the situation. Can't make any more wild card changes. I don't want to. I've only got one more of them left, and I'm going to use try and make that count at least. Captaincy role. I don't know who I'll choose next because I've not really done well in that area to an extent. I missed out on Salah captain in the first game week. Could have got 40 points instead of picked Aubameyang. Second game week, I had Aubameyang again. But he still got points in, so 